right, who, who, who we got? Okay. Uh, I is Ara Ali, graduating first family, first. first yeah. First of six. First generation. First, of first generation, six. yes. Yeah. And are all of you guys going to college? Yeah. First of six, yes. Yeah. First of six. You got a Marymount student, you're going to graduate next year? Yep. So you mean I have to do this all different? Okay, just for you, we'll do something different next year. All right, good to see you guys. Good to see you guys. Who we got here? You're really excited. Come on, Mom. Oh, boy, we are excited. Hallie is graduating with her master's degree. In what? Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> She's getting a master's degree. We have no idea what it is, but it's a master's degree. Political science. We'll go with that. Okay. She, she won't see this ever. <laughs> Hallie, let's go back here a little bit. Who we got here? Hello, I'm Marquita. My husband graduates today with his master's in cybersecurity. Yeah. Master's in cybersecurity? Dressed on, chef up. <laughs> awesome, awesome. People are like putting their heads down. They're like, don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Don't talk. And then she's like, oh, come on, come on. Uh, so I'm here for um, Dr. Sam. He's graduating in, in his um, doctorate degree in technology. Awesome, awesome, another doctorate. Who we got here? We're here for Tom Wilson. Okay. He's getting a master's in cybersecurity. Master's in cybersecurity, doctor's in cybersecurity. They're gonna be bringing in the bank, aren't they? You better go to a nice place for lunch, okay? Who we got here? Uh, my husband, he's getting his uh, degree in, um, it, it's, I'm sorry, um, his doctorate in uh, cybersecurity. Awesome, okay, now, I, I get it that, that you as families, you've just been like, okay, yeah, I have no idea what you're studying. And they come to you at night, I've got to do homework, and they tell you what it is, and you're like, yes, dear. Because <laughs> you really don't have much of a clue, and that's okay. Uh, <laughs> but, but these students do, and they're going to be excited about their degree. So we're going to go over this way. Come on, Renee, let's come over there. They didn't tell you how to run around, did they? No, you're like, what? Okay, hey. My little sister's graduating today. She's getting her master's. We're so excited. Yes. Just the whole family here? Awesome, awesome. Let's come all the way down here. We're here for my sister. She's got her second doctorate. This one is in cybersecurity. Okay, second doctorate, cybersecurity. Is she ever like, gonna leave college? No? She's gonna come back and do another one? All right. So we got cybersecurity, we're gonna move down. Oh, you're like, like you wanna say something, don't you? Yeah, I do. And this is like 41st anniversary of my graduation. From here? From here. Did it look like this? No. <laughs> <laughs> so 41st anniversary, you were here graduating. And what was your degree in? Nursing. Nursing, that's on Sunday, you're at the wrong day. You gotta come back for Sunday. I'm here for cybersecurity for my son. Oh, awesome, awesome, cybersecurity. Let's go over here. Who are we visiting, sir? Yeah, my daughter is a Master's of Science. Master's in Science? Awesome. Are you going to cheer? No, you're not. <laughs> I'm going to be reserved. I'm going to take her photograph. I'm going to be nice. Let's so slide in here. You got the sweatshirt and everything on. Awesome. Who are we celebrating? My son. He's got his doctorate in uh, computer uh, cyber, cyber security. And he's also in uh, Phil Kappa Phi oh. veteran. Oh, yeah, awesome. So he's in Phi Kappa Phi, one of our honor societies, getting a doctoral degree, working hard. Good. Long journey. Long, long way to get to this point. <laughs> awesome. Okay, let's go around the front, let's slide around the front row here. Okay, you guys were here like practically first. Who are you yes, celebrating? We were. Uh, our son Cameron is graduating with his master's in cybersecurity. Awesome, and this whole, they were all here at like 6 a.m. this morning to beat the traffic. It wasn't quite six, but it was close. Who are we celebrating? My son Aaron, he's uh, getting his PhD in cybersecurity. All right, some more cybersecurity, some more PhDs. Gotta check the time real quick. All right, we still got time, you, okay. No. Who, who are we celebrating? Uh, our dad's getting his doctorate in cybersecurity. Awesome, so you have to call him Dr. Dad now, all right? See, he did, he told you that? Okay, we just make that up, all right? I'll just tell you the secret behind it. We just make it up. All of us dads with doctors, it's Dr. Dad from now on. No, it's just still dad. Who are we celebrating, sir? Well, Dr. Craig, we are here to celebrate my son, 
my daughter-in-law's husband and Bill's son-in-law, our son, Jonathan Buchanan, his doctorate in cybersecurity. Awesome, got the whole family here, it's great. So we got parents, we got in-laws, we got kids, we have everybody here to celebrate. That's why we're gathering together, to cheer on these guys when they come in here for what they've done. Who are we celebrating? My husband and doctorate in cybersecurity as well. So these are the kids? So another doctor dad? All right, just, just do it once and that's it. Or just constantly do it and they'll say, stop it, just call me dad. Awesome, awesome. Who are we celebrating today? Um, Clifton Stone. He's a doctor in cybersecurity. All these D-side people, so all the families, you all need to get together with each other. All right, you've all been suffering on your own, and these are the people that have been suffering at the same time through the same homeworks and the same things. Who are we celebrating back here? Uh, Claire Madison, and she's getting her master's degree, or graduating with her master's degree. Do you know what in? Of cybersecurity. Yeah. Just say cybersecurity. Something to do with business, and we'll go with that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, let's sneak over here and see who we've got. Who are we celebrating, sir? For my wife, Asma Johar, she gets master with honor in information technology. So your wife is here. Is this your son? All right. So, and your daughter's back here. She's kind of too chill for you guys. Yeah. Okay. I see how it is. I see how it is. So on, a new master in the house. Awesome. <laughs> That's great. All right, let's slide down here and sneak up on some people. Hello there, sir. How are you doing? Oh, yeah. they're like, they're like, hang on, we got a spokesperson. Don't, don't talk to us. Uh, -uh over here. <laughs> Who are we celebrating? We're celebrating Soliania Haile Mikhail. She's getting her bachelor in information science. Everybody's here from Ethiopia. So, did you travel from Ethiopia just to be here? Okay, okay. All right, let's do this real quick. So Ethiopia, we traveled from Ethiopia here. Look, is that grandma? Look at the awesome. Thank you for coming. I'm gonna shake this lady's hand. Thank you, look at this, that's beautiful. That's a beautiful dress. So Ethiopia, Panama, I heard. What other countries? Okay, we got Australia. Who came from Australia? Where, who came from Australia? Did you come from Australia? And you travel, be over there in just one moment. You're originally from Australia, but you've been here. Yeah. So you didn't like fly in specially for this. Oh, you don't count. But you've been in Australia. I've been in Australia too. It's really nice. <laughs> yeah, Falls Church in Australia, that's a very different. Okay, where'd you guys travel from? Where'd you guys travel from? Where? Sierra Leone, just for today. So we have Ethiopia, Sierra Leone. Awesome. Where else? Pakistan or Afghanistan? We got Germany. All right. What other countries have we got? This is great. Yep. Back here, what do we got? What countries? Pakistan. Bolivia. Egypt. Morocco. All right. We got the most of the northern half of Africa covered here. <laughs> okay. Madagascar. So we're down the coast now. The Philippines, all the way from the Philippines, we've got Bolivia. Now, where Iraq and Egypt. So what this tells you, if this is where the guests are from, this is where the families are from, then guess where the students all come from? We have one of the most diverse populations of students in the US in, the, in a college setting, with all of these countries represented. It's just a melting pot for us to be able to connect and to learn and to understand and to live with each other and to respect each other's cultures. And you parents coming and celebrating, just demonstrate that. Let's find out who we're celebrating. Who we're celebrating? Uh, my daughter is graduating with her bachelor's in interior design. Bachelor's in interior design? So design and business, we brought those two together because they're not as separate as people think. We need to have them together. Okay, quick time check. Dr. Allnut. Yes, Funny, to, fancy meeting you here. Fancy meeting you here. Who are yeah. celebrating? We are here for Emma Allnut, who's getting a BA in interior design. Go, Emma! Woo! And, and Emma's mom, Amy, is actually on faculty, so she'll be here on Sunday to celebrate her students, and I hope your daughter comes to celebrate you. 
No? She ain't coming? Okay. All right. Who we got down here? Let's see. Yes. Who are we celebrating? My niece. She's getting her bachelor's in business admin. Bachelor's, what's her name? Her name is Beatrice. Beatrice. And where did you guys travel from? Nigeria. Nigeria. Awesome. Okay, we, that must be like eight African countries that we have right now. That's awesome, all from that, it's just fabulous, all from this one college. Who are we celebrating today, sir? Uh, celebrating Isabella Doherty graduating uh, with a bachelor's in uh, fashion merchandising. Oh, fashion merchandising. Oh, more fashion merchandising people over there? <laughs> let's see, let's see, who else wants to say something? Yes. Uh, my son, Ben, is graduating with uh, business and finance. Okay, so business and finance, yes, of course, where the college of built is business, innovation, leadership, and technology. So these are the smart ones on the campus. All right, so who are we going to say hi to? Yeah, from Nigeria. Hello, from Nigeria. We are celebrating my, our daughter, Fifo Adeniyi Infotech, BSC Infotech, with the mother and the senior brother. <laughs> Thank you. He's like, don't tell, don't talk about me. I'm behind the camera. All right, I'm gonna go over this side so we're not, oh, real quick. I'll sit, gotta stand in here to block the speaker. Congratulations to my baby cousin, Zach, for uh, his bachelor's degree. His parents are here, the whole family's here. We're so proud of you. <laughs> awesome. Oh, I'm gonna stand right here and hopefully we'll get me. I mean, I'm, I'm here to celebrate my two best friends, Brian and Dermot, because they're graduating from IT. Awesome, awesome. I've got to move this way because the speaker's right there and it kind of rings a bit. But let's try and see if we can get mom over here. Grandma. I'm grandma. <laughs> <laughs> celebrating my um, granddaughter, Sheree Teagle, from School of Design and Art. Awesome, awesome. Interior design. Interior design. But it's the School of Design and Art. You were right. So it's a great. Come over this way a wee bit. Oh, here you go. Who are you guys, guys celebrating? Uh, celebrating um, my wife, uh, Anna Caroline Payne, for your, her uh, bachelor's in economics. Bachelor's in economics? Wow. So she's in the mummy. Or she knows how to save it. All right, let me try and sneak in here. Come on, you guys. Come on now. Who are we celebrating? Uh, we are celebrating my best friend, my stepmom, Natasha Lakoff. She is getting her bachelor's in interior design. Awesome. Another interior designer. So the interior design people are kind of here. Okay, that's who you are. Which is now interior architecture and design. Okay, so we're just stepping up a little bit. Oh, want to say hello real quick? Eric Stone, we're here to represent um, Sandra Guerrero. She has a bachelor's in economics, and she's from Angola. Awesome. That's Angola. Oh, i got to add that one to the list. Yes, sir. We're celebrating our son, Alberto Diaz, from Honduras with a bachelor's in economics. Awesome. 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 Loving this. Can I just sneak by you here? I, hey, we put these chairs wide enough for me to do this. That's good. Who's guessing yesterday? Come on now. Look at this. Look at this dress. I had to represent Mary Mount. Mm -hmm. You Thank really you. did. Thank you really you. did. You did it well. Yes, sir. Who we celebrate? Rec uh, celebrate my daughter Jada. Uh, Jada Battle. She's from the USA. She's getting a <laughs> <laughs> she's getting a degree in uh, information technology. Awesome. Yeah, we also have students from America here at Marymount. Just in case you were wondering, okay, we got faculty from all over the place, students from all over the place, but we have students from the U.S. Okay, who are we celebrating? Okay, we're celebrating my sister Sarah Grillo. She's in the design school. So more des all the design people all sat together. Do you see that? All the pretty people. We're just going to sit together because we're the designers. Just messing, just playing with you. Who are you guys celebrating? Come on back. She's been dying to say something. Yes, she has. She's been itching. We're here to celebrate our daughter, Christian Hambrick, who's also uh, graduating with her BA in fashion design. Awesome, 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 awesome. All right, we got a couple more minutes. And then we're going to just hit this little block, and then we're going to get ready for the students to be coming out soon. Let you guys come past. So who are we celebrating? Uh, we're celebrating Luke Mazur. He's my uh, nephew, and he's getting a bachelor's in, what is it? Business administration. Yeah, business administration, yep. <laughs> nice teamwork there. He's getting a bachelor's in uh, something. What is it? What is it? What is it? <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe. All right, let's slide back here. Who are we celebrating today? 
We're celebrating Tim Rossler. He's graduating with a bachelor's in business administration. Pretty sure. <laughs> well, he is now. That's what he's getting now. He's getting a bachelor's in business administration. All right, let's come back here. We're going to come all the way to the back corner. Who are we celebrating? All right, all languages, all countries. All right, I'm going to just, one more, here we go. Yes, sir. Yes, hi, good morning. We're here to celebrate my son, our son, Valdir de Sousa. He's graduating in uh, business and administration. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so it's about 9.55 which means in about five minutes time, students are gonna appear over there, hopefully, all on, all on schedule. As I say, they're gonna walk in, gonna be all pompous and circumstantial as we play the song. They're gonna come in here, gonna come here, gonna walk to the stage, gonna take their seats. When they walk the stage, you're all not gonna come here at all, because these guys will tackle you, okay? We need to just keep this space clear. When, you're, when your student is on stage, when their name is called, you want to cheer, you want to celebrate, that's fine. We're here to have some fun today. Okay, we want this to be a real celebration. We want this to be a day when you remember and a day that they remember. So thank you for coming. Thank you for being here. We're just going to give you a couple more minutes just to settle back. Make sure your phone...
You guys may sit down. Good morning. My name is Hisham El Rouini, and I'm the Provost and Senior Vice President of Academic Affairs here at Marymount University. It is my great pleasure to welcome you to Marymount University's 72nd Commencement Ceremony to honor our students in the, graduation, in the graduating class of 2023 in the College of Business, Innovation, Leadership, and Technology, also known as the College of Built. To begin our ceremony, I ask everyone now to please stand and join me in turning your attention to our flag and our national anthem. Please be seated. Father Gabriel will now offer the invocation. Father. Good morning, saints. Go saints. Is your day you have to shout. Just a joke. Uh, <laughs> do you ever know what is written behind my collar? Keeps please away for 30 days. <laughs> Let us pray. <coughs> In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, we come before you at the beginning of these graduation exercises asking for your guidance and protection. We acknowledge so much preparations and planning done for a successful graduation. Our students have walked in the sacred halls of wisdom with diligence and studious curiosity to enable them the opportunity to be taught and to learn. You afforded them a ground for new discoveries and opened their minds to understand and feel they achieved what we so proudly celebrate today. Make this day to be a day of rejoicing and gratitude. Let it be one of pride and happiness with parents, friends, and relatives who have walked with our graduates to their success. All of you are united here today. You have achieved something truly monumental. I know I don't need to remind you how many lectures, how many hours of study you are all put into reaching this moment. A university degree is something that many people are not fortunate enough to attain. It's an important tool that opens many doors. 
So my only advice to you today, just one advice to you today, <laughs> is to stop and reflect. This is my only advice to you, stop and reflect. It can be easy to get caught up in this whirlwind of celebrations and job applications. So I want you to all, I want you all to find time in the coming days, pick up a quiet spot and just reflect on your experience here and the days to come. Think about who you were when you first came here and how different you are now after all these years. All the lessons that you've learned, the friends you've made, what did you enjoy the most from your time here? How can you build on that experience? How do you want to make an impact with this degree you've earned, this incredible achievement? This kind of reflection is a priceless exercise for whenever you find yourself at a turning point in your life. Before you know it, you will be in the midst of your next chapter. To make the most of it, you need to think deliberately about how you get here and where you are headed. If you remember the undergraduate who started in 2019 in your uh, convocation, I gave you one advice also, which was ask, why am I here? I know if you still remember, but I do. Reflecting in your time here will also increase your appreciation for yourselves and your capabilities. It's a common saying, it is a common saying that your time in university passes in the blink of an eye. I am sure many of you feel like you still remember your first day on campus, though it just happened. But in reality, lots has taken place since then. You have all done so much. Think back, reflect on those moments, let them sink in. Every one of you can look in the mirror and tell yourself, I've accomplished something really, really great. We have a full program here, so I won't go on for much longer. I just want to add one personal note. One personal note that I came to Marymount four years ago. So this is the first time where I have worked with the bulk of a graduating class of saints from the start to end so uh, of their time here. So being able to see you all grow and thrive at Marymount has been a great honor and privilege for me. Thank you so much for all your efforts over the years. We look forward to seeing all you do in the future as you will find your own path. Congratulations once again, class of 2023. So now I would like to invite uh, Dr. Irma Becerra, the president of Marymount University, to give her remarks. Dr. Becerra. Good morning, Marymount. Good morning. The day that we have all been looking forward to has finally come. To our class of 2023, you have reached the light at the end of the tunnel. And today is a day that you will remember for the rest of your lives. Congratulations, saints. In our audience, of course, are the parents and the loved ones of our graduates who have always supported our saints during their academic journey. Let's stand up and give them a round of applause. Come on. Let's thank our parents and our loved ones. They helped us get here. Thank you. I also want to recognize the continued support of Marymount's faculty, staff, trustees, 
and friends of the university who have joined us today, as well as our distinguished guest speaker, the Honorable Michael K. Powell. It is an honor for us to hear from the former FCC chairman and a mover and shaker in the communications and technology fields. And on a personal note, Michael's father, the late General Colin Powell, was also a commencement speaker and honorary degree recipient at Marymount. So Michael, you're a legacy alum, gonna be a legacy alum today. Thank you so much for coming to campus and inspiring our graduates. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> Class of 2023, you have made us all proud. Across all three of our colleges, there are 471 undergraduate students 347 master's degree students, and 128 doctoral students, and this is the highest number in memories, Marymount's history that are receiving deg degrees this week, and we're so excited. <laughs> Many of you arrived at Marymount in the fall of 2019, which feels like it was another lifetime ago. And just as you were starting to adjust to college, a once in a lifetime pandemic comes along and disrupts everything. Like other college students all across the country, you were forced to go back home and complete your freshman year away from all your new friends, the professors and mentors. And you missed out on the small, tight knit in-person classroom experience that we are known for and your extracurricular activities were cut off with no knowledge of when things would go back to normal, if ever. This was obviously something not you expected and something you did not bargain for. But trust me, that experience only made you stronger. You weathered the storm brought on by the COVID-19 pandemic and you came out the other side with more knowledge, more life experience, and more resilience. No matter where life takes you, you will look back at those obstacles as formative, and you will know that no matter what is thrown at you in the future, you can not only survive it, but you will conquer it. Now, you're graduating from Marymount University at such an exciting time for our institution. Earlier this year, we gained recognition as a best national university, a long-held strategic hole here at Marymount. We have the most diverse campus of any university in Virginia and we remain the Commonwealth's only four-year Hispanic-serving institution. Our vibrant campus community continues to attract students from an enormous array of cultures and backgrounds and perspectives, and we rank in the top 20 nationally for international students. <laughs> Thank you. We continue to excel at preparing students for careers in high demand fields, and we have tripled our research endeavors over the past two years. And we have demonstrated ourselves as the university of choice for Division Three athletics, with our teams in men's and women's basketball, women's golf, men's soccer, men's and women's swimming, men's and women's tennis, women's track and field, and women's volleyball, all winning conference championships this year. Wow. This is all part of a new era of 
big, bold momentum here at Marymount as we offer transformative experiences within a unique educational community that prepares the college students of today to be the leaders of tomorrow in their communities and their chosen professions. You, our newest graduates, are part of the Marymount story and legacy. As you gear up for the next step in your life and your career, I want you to take this opportunity to share some advice and guidance on a skill that is invaluable no matter what field you are pursuing. And that skill is courageous leadership. In many previous generations, courage was associated with a tough guy, with physical strength, aggressiveness, and infallibility. But today, a more modern view shows that courageous leaders are those who put their principles first and are willing to take risks and make difficult decisions, especially in the face of uncertainty and adversity. As a Cuban immigrant who came to the US as an infant to escape a revolution, I have a personal quote that I live by. Every difficulty you have overcome in your life has prepared you to be the great leader that you are today. When you do not hesitate or step back from taking action, you and those around you are better for it. But what does that look like when you are faced with tough choices? It's no secret that here at Marymount, we encountered our own difficult decision earlier this spring semester, as our board unanimously voted to close several severely underperforming academic programs so that we could reinvest in those with higher growth potential that align with our students' interests. Of course, this decision wasn't popular with everyone, and it may have been easier to kick the can down the road to avoid pushback. But we chose to act now and to do the right thing for the university's future. I have a small plaque from my work as a young engineer that says, only God speaks the truth, the rest of you must bring data. People will always have opinions, but no one can argue the numbers and the facts. Thank you. <laughs> Even when faced with unpopular decision, a leader's focus should be on creating a sustainable and prosperous future. This can be hard to do when there is a great deal of resistance to change. But that change can often be the bridge to a better future in business and in life. It's not always easy, but it can propel an organization forward and pave the way for new opportunities and progress. I share with you this message because very soon, all of you will begin climbing the career ladder and you yourselves will be faced with many difficult decisions and forks in the road. Change is difficult for most, and many hesitate to take a new path because it requires stepping out of their comfort zone and confronting uncertainty or unfamiliarity. But change is inevitable. And when you embrace challenges and learn from failures, you can move forward and lead from a place of courage. And that is what I wish for all of you, class of 2023. When I think about the great and innovative accomplishments that have taken place within the College of Built over the last year, I am tremendously excited for what's ahead for you and the college itself. These accomplishments include being redesignated by the National Security Agency and the Department of Homeland Security as a National Center for Academic Excellence in Cyber Defense. 
We were also awarded a grant from the NSA to establish a cyber clinic to support small businesses and not-for-profits in the region. We have seen promising growth from our new doctorate in business intelligence with well over 100 students enrolled just its second year. Dr. Carlo Ninasi and his colleagues in the School of Business put together another riveting business plan competition with teams of Catholic high school students in the region also participating. Graduating senior Natalia Lykoff become the third straight Marymount student to be honored by Metropolis Magazine as a future 100 interior design winner. <laughs> and of course, our annual Portfolio in Motion event featuring our fashion design and merchandising students and staff was a rousing success. Woo! <laughs> There are so many other examples I could give you of how our saints are uniquely positioned for success now and in the future. During your tenure here, you have embraced our core values of intellectual curiosity, service to others, and having a global perspective. These are guided by the traditions of our founders, the religious of the Sacred Heart of Mary, as we focus the Marymount education on the development of the whole person. You will now take these values with you wherever you go next, as you continue to learn with purpose and live with purpose. Your new journey as a Marymount graduate begins today, and we are confident that you will represent the university well in all your professional pursuits and all your personal pursuits. At Marymount, we believe that skills are nothing without values. That knowledge must be fueled by compassion and that no one can ever afford to stop learning. We are in your hands now and the world will be a better place because of you. And remember, once a saint, always a saint. Continue to show your Marymount pride and remember to pay it forward and continue to support Marymount in the future so the lives of future saints can be transformed as well. May God bless you, the class of 2023, and your families and your loved ones, and go saints! Thank you, Dr. Becerra. We will now confer the honorary degree. Now I would like to invite Dr. Edward Bersoff, the chair of the University Board of Trustees, to join Dr. Becerra to honor um, Mr. Michael Powell. Thank you, Dr. Alberini. Today, Marymount University honors Michael Powell, former chairman of the Federal Communications Commission from 2001 to 2005, and the son of the late General Colin Powell, who is also an honorary alumnus of Marymount and a commencement speaker here in 2006. During Michael Powell's time as FCC chair, he oversaw the rapid transformation of communications markets into the digital age. As the internet, smartphones, Wi-Fi, networks, and satellite radios all came into widespread commercial use during his tenure. In his current role as president and CEO of NCTA, the Internet and Television Association, he leads one of the largest trade associations in Washington, D.C., representing the communications and content industries. He also serves as the chairman of the Mayo Clinic Board of Trustees. His prior public service includes roles as Chief of Staff of the Antitrust Division of the Department of Justice, Policy Advisor to the Secretary of Defense, 
an armored cavalry officer in the U.S. Army. In the private sector, he has practiced law and was a senior advisor in a private equity firm while also serving on the public boards of Cisco and AOL. Marymount University is honored to have Mr. Powell play a part in today's commencement ceremony. You're not graduated yet, Mr. Powell. <laughs> by the virtue of the power vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia and the Board of Trustees of Marymount University, I declare Michael Power Doctor of Humane Letters Honoris Causa. And now Dr. Powell will address our graduating class. Welcome, Dr. Powell. Thank you so much, very meaningful. President Becerra, Dean Aberman, the provost, members of the board, and esteemed faculty, I thank you for this honorary degree and inviting me to speak today. It is really heartening to have your life's work recognized by such an esteemed community. And a hearty welcome to friends and family who have assembled to witness and celebrate the achievements of these amazing graduates. Class of 2023, congratulations. As you've heard mentioned, this is a moving moment for me to stand here today, I can feel the spirit of my father, General Colin Powell, who also received an honorary degree from Marymount and delivered remarks in 2006. He was a great man. Now look, I hope you don't feel cheated because that class got colon, and you just get the semicolon. <laughs> I feel obligated to say also at the outset of my remarks that ChatGPT was not harmed in the writing of these remarks in any way. <laughs> and for good measure, I'm also going to certify that I'm an actual human being and not a deep fake black robed avatar. Or am I? The world has been upended by the arrival of generative artificial intelligence. We are at the dawn of an exciting and possibly terrifying world. I almost feel as you walk across this stage today, you are walking through a wormhole into an alternative universe. Living on the cusp of this techno revolution, I thought I should share my thoughts on where artificial intelligence is going. But if I do that, it's going to be a very short speech because I have absolutely no idea, not a clue, not the remotest idea of whether we are heading to a world blossoming of blossoming creativity, exceptional productivity, and vibrant democracy, or a dystopian world of homo sapiens enslaved by computers and iPhones, although we might have already gotten to that point. At best, I can say you are entering a world filled with uncertainty. But I think therein lies a graduation-worthy message. You see, the future, your future, is always unknown. It will be shaped by millions of unforeseeable variables. My own career has involved from chance meetings, unanticipated opportunities, and unexpected tragedies. Certainly it developed as much by chance as it has by my own skill 
talent, or shrewd career navigation. You see, life is more random than you've been taught to expect. And in some sense, you're just not in full control of what will happen to you. Now, you may not be able to make your own luck, but you are not just dust in the wind, either. My dad used to say, opportunity knocks for everyone, but not everyone has their bags packed when the door opens. You should be prepared to seize the moment when that door does swing open. And you certainly can develop the emotional fortitude to adapt if it never opens, or worse, someone chooses to slam it shut in your face. Albert Einstein said, you can expect good and bad luck, but good or bad judgment is your prerogative. Now, accepting that your future achievements and failures result in part from fate should bring alive in you the values of humility and compassion. You see, when you do succeed, you can resist your self-satisfied ego's habit of thinking you're a genius, that inflated, arrogant belief that we're fully deserving of everything we get. Recognizing instead that a small shift in another direction could have led to failure always instills you with humility, gratitude, and grace. But it also gives rise to compassion toward others. You will encounter those who are less successful or who confront more failure. But they're not lesser people or losers in the game of life, but people who deserve your compassion as the proverb says there, but for the grace of God, go I. A life formed around compassion, humility, and gratitude will be more satisfying, more meaningful, and I assure you, much happier. You know, at graduations, we often celebrate knowledge acquisition. You certainly know more now than you knew when you arrived here. But note this, knowledge is not wisdom. The key to wisdom is ultimately about the relationship you develop with the unknown, the uncertain, the ambiguous, and the mysteries of life. As David Brooks puts it, wisdom is the moral quality of knowing what you don't know and figuring out a way to handle your ignorance. This intellectual humility is the ignition fuel of curiosity, and curiosity is the greatest superpower you can ever have. You're going to be required to make many decisions in your personal and professional life. And making good decisions is also rooted in respecting what you don't know and sitting with the constant possibility that you just might be wrong. I believe the most odious trait a person can exhibit is certitude. As the writer Maria Popova says, nothing, not one thing, hurts us more or causes us to hurt others more than our certainties. As you make decisions, I urge you to live by the maxim, be confident, but never certain. Confidence comes from knowing you have acted with rigor and reason, utilizing the facts and knowledge that you have available to you at a given moment in time. But remaining just a little uncertain drives you to learn continuously. It forces you to assess your decisions against changing facts and circumstances as they emerge. A person draped in certitude is an egotistical, self-proclaimed expert who cannot separate his identity from his opinion. In other words, a cable news pundit. Because reality is a space of probabilities, uncertainties, and unknowns, you will not survive without a moral compass. A mentor taught me once that every person should develop at least 10 principles that they would compromise for no one. You should not con contravene these principles for wealth, fame, power, or love. These principles become your values, and the daily habits that spring from these values are your virtues. These beliefs make up the frame on which your character is constructed, and I promise you, character still 
matters. A moral compass also serves as your guide for finding true north during the storms of your life. You're going to work in a world drowning in data, littered with misinformation, filled with ethical temptation, and mired in public second guessing. It is very easy to become paralyzed by it all. But your moral compass will guide you to the path to take, and more importantly, it will set guardrails for the paths you should not take. Your compass will preserve your moral center when no one sees. If you act consistent with that moral center, you will always sleep well at night. This will be true even when your decisions during the day prove wrong. You may lose a battle, but you always win when you preserve your integrity. As I close, I want to revise what I said at the beginning. There is one thing I am certain about when it comes to surviving the onslaught of machines that learn and bots that chat. We must lean into our competitive advantage, and that is our humility and humanity. The response to AIs that lack emotion, values, and morals is to elevate these traits in our own behavior. You see, microprocessors may come to master knowledge, but wisdom will always remain the domain of flesh and blood. Thank you and congratulations again. Thank you so much, Dr. Powell. Um, wonderful speech and many, many advices that I hope that you were taking mental notes at least. Uh, but I think uh, a couple of things resonated with me among everything resonated, but a couple of things maybe I would repeat is be competent but never certain. I think when we are certain, we lose a lot of our objectivity. So that's a great advice and also the advice about uh, bad luck versus the judgment. So when you, when you don't blame it on your luck, but actually you should think of your good judgment. So thank you so much once again. All right, so uh, uh, I think we made sure that uh, the weather will cooperate today. So we need to uh, start now the time to begin conferral of degrees. So uh, the faculty and the board of trustees take pleasure in conferring degrees upon the candidates who are here today. The name of the graduates will be announced by Mr. Zach Campion. And the graduates will be presented by, Dr. by Dean Jonathan Eberman. Now I would like to introduce the Dean of the College of Business, Innovation, Leadership and Technology, Dean Jonathan Eberman. Dean Eberman. Well, you know, just like uh, the provost mentioned earlier, I've been here four years too. We started, I think, within a three or four days of each other, looked at each other and said, well, this is going to be a big and exciting job. So you're my first graduating class too, and I, I really, we've been through a lot together, as the videos and the times, we, you know, I'm, I'm proud of all of you, and I'm proud for you, right? It's awesome to be here with you. And the other thing I'd like to point out is that the advice you just gotten, speaking to somebody who's been involved in entrepreneurship for a long time is unbelievably great advice. And if you can synthesize it, I'll tell you like this. Someday, real soon, you're gonna be a situation and it's gonna be crazy and the person to your right and the person to your left is gonna be desperately trying to figure out what to do. That's a moment when you raise your hand and say, I got this, I got this. And trust me, they're gonna be so relieved. They're gonna love you forever and that's how you accelerate a career. So with that, I think it is time for us to begin. Will the doctoral candidates from the College of Business Innovation, Leadership and Technology please rise and remain standing?
What a good-looking group. <laughs> Dr. Becerra, it's my pleasure to present the doctoral candidates from the College of Business Innovation, Leadership, and Technology. These students have successfully completed their required courses of study and have earned the degrees being awarded to them today. Would the students please come forward? Fatu Mata Sankare. <laughs> Rodolfo Machuca. Bridget Collier. Alicia Nguana. <laughs> Fortune E. Onzerike. <laughs> James Gordon Coomson. Mark Allen Washington. Aaron Eugene Weathersby. Samuel Ousu. Safiatu Mojidi. Kimberly Ann Brannick. Jordan Spencer Hillis. Joshua Paul Scarpino. Justin Michael Hogue. <laughs> Jeremy McHugh. Jonathan Carl Buchanan. Christopher Richard Sokol. Noares Almirza. Yeah. 
Kenneth Murray Myers. Dorn Childs. Jacob M. Vargas. Alanud Awad Al Juaid Michel Alahamri Vito Nozza Clifton Michael Stone Gregory Peter Cruck Yulen G. Bingle. Justin Uber. Christopher Adam White. Now, will the master's candidates for the College of Business Innovation, Leadership, and Technology please rise and remain standing? Dr. Becerra, it is my pleasure to present the master's candidates from the College of Business Innovation, Leadership, and Technology. These students have successfully completed their required courses of study and have earned the degrees being awarded to them today. Would the students please come forward? Philip Mara. Philip is receiving two master's degrees. Anthony Donnell Alston. Anthony is receiving two master's degrees. Thomas Courtney Wilson. Thomas is the recipient of the Academic Excellence Award in Cybersecurity. Cameron Hosseinian. Kafura Wanjeri. Antonio J. Tondelli.
Ronak Benta Iqbal. Deepti Puchakayala. Deepti is the recipient of the Academic Excellence Award in Information Technology. Jordanos Berhanu Tolesa. Lakshroyan Dechen Kudev. Claire Elizabeth Madison. Samuel Paul Cashin. Gabriel Xander Loring. Sophia Mariam Riaz. Sophia is receiving two master's degrees. Brian De Jesus Lorenzo. A big congrats to Israel Solomon Tamir. Mario G. Fernandez. Wakas Nadim. Gaston Titus Shifa. Daniel Patrick Simon. Hallie Elizabeth Gessel. Priya Lata Kumar. Priya is the recipient of the Academic Excellence Award in Healthcare Management. Arkita Renee Matthews. Ahmed El Manyalawi. Ahmed is receiving two master's degrees. Nikhil Misra. Jose Ivan Padilla. Arij Ahmed Jamil Madani. Arwa Mohammed Al Tassan. Ohud Musad Al Malki. Ilaf. Ibrahim Altuwejiri. <laughs> Bodur Megbel Al Harbi. <laughs> Sabrina Garbi. Asma Abdullah Al Johar. Badria Al Katani. Najla Saeed Al Dawas Al Dawsari. Abdullah Mosaid Al Zahrani. <laughs> 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 
Abdullah Saad Alderaihem. David Enrique Andres Polio. <laughs> Kelly E. Munoz. <laughs> Luazi Eno Rennert. <laughs> Marina Maximova. Faryal Sahid. Marquita Daisy Crowder. Carolyn Gisela Hernandez. Remy Cruz Carter. Remy is the recipient of the Academic Excellence Award in Business Administration. Salvatore Prisco. Sean Jackson. Motunrayo Fadipe. Tanacho Chai Suan. Trevor William Burrell. Anab Wakar Ahmad. Magol Bayati. Ruby May Tennyson. Ruby is receiving two master's degrees. Ruby is also the recipient of the Academic Excellence Award in Human Resource Management. Yasmin Monzer Raba. Yasmin is receiving two master's degrees. Mohammed Abdulkader Amin. Mohammed is receiving two master's degrees. Dominique Marie Citron. Megan Pulliam. Hedye Jamalreza. Vooch Kang Chor. Arian D. Radke. Nkili Asha Suda. Akira Ayana Ori. Mai Shim. Mai is the recipient of the Academic Excellence Award in Interior Design. Sarah Abraha Kasai. <laughs> Hana Hailu. Hana is receiving two master's degrees. Abir Hassan. Uyanga Damden Bazar. Husmain Treora.
Fidel Mwenye Jumbe Dansibu. Mahadura Mariam Bailaying Danye. You know, one of the occupational hazards of being the dean of a college that's grown like crazy is you shake a lot of hands. So you, you, you give me a workout, but what a, what a high class problem to have. So, will the undergraduate students from the College of Business, Innovation, Leadership, and Technology please rise and remain standing? Yeah, there we go. Give it up, I agree. You guys did great. So let's celebrate together. Dr. Becerra, it's my pleasure to present the undergraduate candidates from the College of Business, Innovation, Leadership, and Technology. These students have successfully completed their required courses of study, and boy, have they earned the degrees being awarded to them today. Would the students please come forward? Paul Valenti. Mohammed Osman, summa cum laude. John Jimenez Sandoval. Abdulaziz Al Jahani, magna cum laude. Eamon Buachi, cum laude. Lauren G. Quiroz. <laughs> Timnit Tespe. Hua Fuang Tong. Jada Battle. Jared Perry, cum laude. Kendall Nicole Diamond. Sava Topic, summa cum laude. Bilal Ahmed Ali, magna cum laude. Seth Acapulco, summa cum laude. Daniel Stone, summa cum laude. Mandres Angia Masanur, summa cum laude. George Constantine Liatsos. Benjamin Robert Saunders Hecker. Mariam M. Yunus. Fahad Al Nasser, cum laude.
Salim Maharjan, summa cum laude. Mushkan Adagari, summa cum laude. Shimran Shrestha, summa cum laude. Safal Thapa. Kareem El Mary, magna cum laude. Andrew Daniel Castellon, cum laude. Jihan Dobles Magd, cum laude. Ethan J. Marcano, summa cum laude. Ethan is a Marymount Honors Program Scholar. Ethan is also the recipient of the Academic Excellence Award in Information Technology. Simab Tasneem, Muga, mu, meh, magna cum laude. <laughs> Johnny Alexander Contreras Caterino. Jose Giovanni Beltran Garcia. Emily Terrazas Pinto, cum laude. Mohammed Al Sharif. Noaf Naif Al Kuwaid. <laughs> Abdirahman Abdallah. <laughs> Jason Antonio Grande. Sultan Adel Alwaili. <laughs> Is it Salim next? Salim Maharjan, summa cum laude. Brandon David Hardeen, Jardine. D Brandon David Jardine. Marvin Alexander Munoz Rosario. Socket Prohit, magna cum laude. Khan Nguyen, cum laude. Khan everywhere. Nicholas A. Rivas. Benjamin Theodore Blevins. Gurpreet Kaur Burji. Aaron Elise Cannon, magna cum laude. Aaron is a Marymount Honors Program Scholar. Jessica Lynn Layton. Natalie Olga Garbalosa. Yeah. 
Dorian Gyo, cum laude. Grayson David Andrews, summa cum laude. Timothy Edwin Rossler, cum laude. Luke William Mazur, summa cum laude. William James Strasbaugh, magna cum laude. Abdul Malik Azmi Jamu, cum laude. Abdulaziz Al Ghanem. Ann M. Zamora, summa cum laude. Adelie Virginia Shotton, magna cum laude. Kenya Chavez Guerrero, summa cum laude. Mackenzie Cassandra Lee, cum laude. Caroline Judith Bennis. Jacqueline Tessa Trossman, cum laude. Will Taylor Nelson. Joshua Lewis Pryle Dickey, summa cum laude. Joshua is the recipient of the Academic Excellence Award in Business Administration. Juan Carlos Diaz Torres. William Gabriel Cruz, cum laude. Derman Anthony Sanchez Amaya, summa cum laude. Stuart Raymond Durst, summa cum laude. And the twins, Abdul Rahman Khalid Algroyer, Al Al and Abdullah Khalid Algroyer, cum laude. <laughs> Both cum laude. <laughs> Abdul Masan Bahaudin. Emerson Hare. Afua Dennis. Tendakai David Maconi, cum laude. Christelle Regina Nchama Ofa Milam. Beatrice Chisom Egekense, cum laude. Antonio Figuera, magna cum laude. Fabian Munoz Velasquez. Jocelyn Maite Fuentes. Cum laude. Asitan Sidi Tandia. 
cum laude. Alexis Danielle Williams. Lauren Nicole Cunningham, summa cum laude. Lauren is the recipient of the Academic Excellence Award in Graphic and Media Design. Sun Liu, summa cum laude. Quinn Zhao Le Vu, summa cum laude. Valdir de Souza Claros. Brittany Victoria Logan. Layla O. Allen. Nazir Olawakayode Kunlipe. Desi Vareen. <laughs> Tyron Curtis Goodson Sec. <laughs> Galila Yosef. <laughs> Misi Lucila Trejo Castillo. Carmen Reyes. Sharzad Garakani. Sara Fahad Albakar. Gaida Salah Sarhan. Anna Caroline Payne, summa cum laude. Anna is the recipient of the Academic Excellence Award in Economics. Elma Alessandra Guerrero. Sheree Alice Teagle. Deborah Kondash Ballinghoff, magna cum laude. Brigitte Estefani Urgiles, cum laude. A. Momo Nying, magna cum laude. Natalie Diane Miley, magna cum laude. <laughs> Rafa Adel Shohati, magna cum laude. Morgan Hunt. <laughs> Ming Yang. Zhu Jing Zhen Wang, cum laude. Heather N. O'Sullivan. Nomenzul Saruzandra, magna cum laude. Nomenzul is a Marymount Honors Program Scholar. Giselle Yvette Barahona. Jade Gerals.
Madeline Di Cristina. <laughs> Natalia Lakov, summa cum laude. Natalia is the recipient of the Academic, uh, Academic Excellence Award in Interior Design. <laughs> Emma R. Allnut. Paz M. Miranda, magna cum laude. Caitlin Nicole Doyle, summa cum laude. Sarah Catherine Agrio. Ivana Matarak. Jordanos Samson Abate, summa cum laude. Favor Oluwashai Edenei, magna cum laude. Richard Clemens III. Zakaria Hilali, summa cum laude. Shabnam Shoja. Sarah H. Ali. Zain Alemam, magna cum laude. Omar Abdalmonim Bachit. Dana Mohammed Almadani, cum laude. Reina Nasser Alomer, summa cum laude. William C. Rash, summa cum laude. William is a Marymount Honors Program Scholar. Badr Al-Fagir. Diana Maritza Evora, magna cum laude. Francine Marie Yusel Sin, magna cum laude. Elizabeth Margaret Mentz. Allison Nicole McNair. Allison is also receiving a master's degree. Hanin Mohammed Abbas. Zaina El Shair, cum laude. Isabella Enguanzo Doherty, summa cum laude. Tabata Adriana Aramayo, cum laude. Dunya Akram Arafa, magna cum laude. Erica Charlena Cinco Fenwick, cum laude. Erica is the recipient of the Academic Excellence Award in Fashion Design. Christian L. Hambrick, magna cum laude.
Lydia Kathleen Langford. Grace Elizabeth Healy, magna cum laude. Grace is the recipient of the Academics, uh, Academic Excellence Award in Fashion Merchandising. Abdullah Almani. Selhadeen Mohammed, cum laude. Andrew Julian Shetter. <laughs> Luai Georges Saba, summa cum laude. Luai is the recipient of the Academic Excellence Award in Economics. <laughs> Soliana Gebregiorgis Haile Michael, magna cum laude. Kimia Morala, cum laude. Yoselin Michelle Vasquez Sanchez. Christoph Palfi, summa cum laude. Brian Vieira Gomez, summa cum laude. Fatima Abdulaziz Bin Said, summa cum laude. Alberto Jose Diaz Castillon. Matthew N. Zirkel. Michael Said, cum laude. Well, now what? <laughs> Graduates, please rise. <laughs> By virtue of the power vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia and the Board of Trustees of Marymount University. I confer upon these candidates the doctoral, master's, and undergraduate degrees with all the rights, privileges, and honors thereunto appertaining. Graduates, you may now move your tassel on your cap from right to left Congratulations, Marymount Class of 2023, and God bless you. So we, we're not done yet. We're not done. So ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2023. You may be seated now. And now please welcome Marymount University alumnus, Francisco Samiu, who holds uh, bachelor's and master's degrees from our university and is the current director of regulatory affairs at MedStar Health, the largest health system in the Washington area. Over the past 20 years, he has worked for key government agencies, nonprofits, health systems, 
and academic medical centers in the region. And he served in leadership positions, overseeing successful grant proposal uh, submissions, totaling over $90 million, managing numerous community health projects, advising on regulatory compliance, and serving in a government affairs representative as a government affairs representative at the state and federal levels. In 2008, he established the National Organization of Portuguese Americans. He uh, helped him make significant advances in improving advocacy efforts and strengthening the relationship between the two nations. In addition to his role at MedStar, he is also currently an advisory board member with uh, uh, Mentor Foundation USA and Vice President of the Salvadoran American Chamber of Commerce Board of Directors. Um, thank you, Mr. Sameyu, for being a distinguished alumni uh, speaker for today's uh, commencement ceremony. Please join me and welcome Francisco here to the podium. Good morning. As a Marymount University alumnus, I am very honored to be here addressing this distinguished audience and thank the College of Business, Innovation, Leadership, and Technology for inviting me to be a part of this very special ceremony. My first attempts at college were a complete disaster. I failed out from my first university, and the second one politely invited me to leave and reassess my priorities. Shortly after, I was diagnosed with a learning disability. And even though my GPA was less than ideal, Marymount University took a chance and conditionally admitted me as a junior. Even though there were options to request accommodations, I wanted to achieve my degree like everyone else and learn to study with my limitation. This meant that I had to study three times as hard as everyone else. And it paid off when I graduated cum laude in 2000. And there was no rest after that, since I was on a roll, and I earned two graduate degrees back to back, and was inducted into each program's honor society. I will forever be grateful to Marymount University and Dr. Leanne Summerfield, who took a huge chance on admitting me into her program. 23 years have flown by since then, and my career path has been blessed by many highlights, but also hardships. If it was possible to climb into a DeLorean and travel back in time, the advice I would give myself is the same that is extended to you today. Do not let limitations Define your path. Be true to yourself. Do not try to be someone you are not to fit in. At some point, you will find where you belong and are appreciated. Find a job with a mission that makes you excited to get out of bed every day. Today, you march out into the professional world with a powerful brand attached to your diploma. Use what you've learned at Marymount University not only to advance your career, but to also give back to society. The most important lesson I learned here was how to be an engaged citizen by doing my small part each day 
to make a difference in other people's lives, whether by time, talent, or treasure, we can all help make our world a better place. To wrap up, I would love to share the wise words of St. Mother Teresa of Calcutta that have helped me push forward personally and professionally in life regardless of the barriers that may be in the way. People are often unreasonable and self-centered. Forgive them anyway. If you are kind, people may accuse you of ulterior motives. Be kind anyway. If you're honest, people may cheat you. Be honest anyway. If you find happiness, people may be jealous. Be happy anyway. The good you do today may be forgotten tomorrow. Do good anyway. Give the world the best you have and it may never be enough. Give the best anyway. For you see, in the end, it's between you and God. It was never between you and them anyway. Thank you and congratulations, class of 2023. Thank you, Mr. Samiru. Good advice. Uh, to conclude our commencement exercise, the benediction will be uh, benediction will be given by Father Gabriel. So please stand for the benediction. Go saints. The saints, let us pray in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. God, our Father, in gratitude we stand before you. We thank you for the achievement of each of our students. They have gained knowledge and skills that will enable them to be useful in the world they are about to face as they walk from the halls of wisdom to the paths of life. Be with them, Lord, wherever they go. Education has prepared them for what they must be and for what they must do as they move on to the next level of their lives. Guide them, Lord, that the education they have acquired at Marymount will help them to transition into the role they are going to take to prosper the nation and the world. Grant them opportunities for good jobs that will enable them to better their lives and the lives of others. Let them always lead the way, and if they have to follow, let them follow only in the ways of goodness, love, and truth. May their Marymount experience help them to live the values and the excellence in intellectual curiosity, service to others, and a global perspective. We ask a blessing from the Lord for their families and friends who have supported them through difficult times. Bless our president and her cabinet. Bless our generous faculty who have not held back their knowledge and expertise in instructing curious minds. Bless administrator, staff, and those who have contributed to the good of our students. May our guest speakers and all present Always be blessed. May the blessings of Almighty God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you now and forever. And remember, go saints. <laughs> go saints. Thank you, Father Gabriel. If you, uh, you may have noticed that we have um, hundreds of people wearing polo shirts, blue and white. Those are our colleagues who have volunteered
to come here today to help make this uh, event so special to you. So please give a hand to all the volunteers who are here. And also I want to thank uh, Dr. Jason Craig and Dr. Stephanie Foster for leading our uh, uh, many, many, many volunteers and committees that helped us with this event. So this will conclude uh, our commencement today. So once again, con congratulations, class of 2023. I would like just to ask the graduates to wait, stay seated uh, until the faculty leave, and then you will feel free to join your family and take pictures as you want. Congratulations once more, and look forward to hearing from you and about you. Bye. member. I can still take your degrees back. It's a All right, let's just let the faculty get out of the way first. Family, friends, guests, students, graduates, thank you all for being here today. Now they're out of the way. Go find your loved ones. Celebrate today. Have a good time. And students, you're buying lunch.